Hello and welcome to tutorial number 46 in the Microsoft Visual Basic.net programming tutorials and this is going to be a short tutorial just explaining how to get the path of a special folder and use it so go ahead and create a new project and just call it using special folders okay so if you don't know what a special folder is special folders are folders on every windows operating system and such as my documents, um, desktop, application data, you know, all the all the folders you'll find on every Windows machine. So let's say you have an application and you want to save a document to the My Documents folder. But how are you going to know if that user uses XP or Vista? or Windows 7 or what the name is you know that's why well, that's where special folders come in handy so just go ahead and add the button and first of all we're just going to obtain the path of a special folder without doing an ending to it so just change the button to show path double click it Okay, now first we're going to need to declare a variable which will hold the string of the path. So declare the path as string equals environment dot get fold get folder path and then in brackets environment dot special uh, special folder and then we do dot here and then we've got a whole list of special folders we can use. There's application data, common application data, common program files, cookies, desktop, whatever, there's loads. But for this tutorial we're going to use my documents. So double click that. And whatever you want to use, just do after this dot here you can change it to desktop or application data or whatever you want. Okay, so now we have this variable. Whoops. We're going to message box dot show and then the path and this is going to message box the path which is for the my documents folder on my computer so show path see document setting Christopher my documents okay simple enough but to use that path we just use it the same as if we just declared any string with a path value we'll just instead of message box at show we'll use process dot start and in my documents I've already I put an image there called image dot jpg and you can try this out with any file you have located in your documents folder or desktop so when process dot start the path which as you so as you just witness them will give you the path and then after this ampersand to link a string to the variable then in quotations forward slash image dot jpg and quotations and then brackets so hopefully this little code here should bring up an image of vikings which is a pretty cool image so show path and here we go needs more vikings with accordions so that was just a short tutorial on using special folders. This is really useful. It's, it's really easy to understand, but not many people know, know this. So, you know, if you have any questions about this, just leave a comment. If you have any suggestions or requests, leave a comment. And please like this video and subscribe to my channel for many more videos.